There are different models of silo structure that can help your website rank higher. For example, the top-down recycle, the reverse silo, the serial silo, yellow silo, and priority silo. You can do all kinds of silos with our tool. Though I won't show you how to implement these specific silo models, I will teach you how to use our tool to create powerful silos. Once you have learned that, you can easily build any of these silo models. To create a silo, let's open the silo tool first. Now let's fetch the URL of our pillar post and then paste it here and click the suggest button. Here on the right hand panel, you will see suggestions for supporting links. It's a relevancy score indicating the relevancy to the pillar post. Also, if you want, you can limit the suggestion to the same category only. Now I will select the most relevant supporting articles for the pillar post. You can select them by clicking on them. If you want to add a particular article to the silo, you can go and copy the URL and paste it here. Link Boss allows you to select up to 15 posts. Once you have selected the posts, click the Submit button. Here you can see the silo table. Here you can pick how many pages the source page links to and specify the exact pages it connects to in the target column. Now if you want all the posts to link to the pillar post only, you just need to click the Submit button. In the linking table, you will see that there is no interlinking between the posts. They all connect to the pillar post. You can create the link by clicking the link button. Here you can see some relevant text portions from the source article along with the suggestions for the anchor text. Remember, all these text portions are from the source article. If you find any of these text and anchor relevant, you can create the link by clicking here. If you want to edit, you can do it by clicking the Edit button. This one seems relevant, but I will make some edits here. The link has been created. Now let's create another one. Suppose you don't find any relevant paragraph here. Then you can use our AI tool to write a new paragraph related to the target topic along with a suitable anchor text. To do that, click here. Now click the Generate Heading button. It will create a heading for you along with several NLP-friendly anchor texts. If you're not happy with the title of the paragraph, you can regenerate it by clicking here. I won't regenerate it because I think the heading is ideal for this demonstration. If you want, you can also edit the heading and anchor text. So I will just edit the anchor text. If you're happy with the heading and the anchor text, click the paragraph button. Here the AI tool has generated a paragraph with our chosen anchor text. The paragraph seems on point and the anchor has been used naturally as well. The text portion is generated by AI, but it's completely unique. Let's check with Copyscape. No plagiarism found. If you're happy with the paragraph, click the next button. Here you can see all the existing headings and subheadings of the source article and you can choose where that newly generated section will be placed. I will place the section at the very top as the first subheading. Then click the update button. The link has been created. 
To prevent the video from becoming too long, I will complete the silo off screen and return here. As you can see, the silo is complete. Let's visualize it now. The visualization tool helps to see the relation between the articles and make any changes if needed. Now, what if you want to interlink the supporting articles and the pillar post instead of just sending links to the pillar post? You can do that as well. Click here, go and copy the URL of the pillar post. Here you can find suggestions for the supporting articles. I will select the most relevant ones You can also include posts outside suggestions by copy-pasting their URL here. Once you have selected the supporting articles, click Submit. Here's the silo table. First, we'll select the articles that will get links from the source article. Now we will interlink the supporting articles. There's no option to choose the pillar post as every single article will automatically link to the pillar post. Once you're done, click the Submit button. Here's the linking table. You can see all the links here. There are multiple pages. To create an interlink, click the Link button here. The interlink creation process is the same as before. There's nothing new to show. So we will complete the silo off screen to keep the video length short. As you can see, the silo is complete now. You can visualize it by clicking here. That was all for today. Thank you for watching.